massive transformation if government prioritizes them over foreigners. As the borders remain shut, President of the Ghana Institute of Engineering, Alex Leslie Ayer, tells Charles Ayer that government must look within. What happened was they, uh, we decided to work 24 hours, coming up with ideas, looking at the, uh, the optimum means of doing that. The military came in and then worked together. And uh, that was a product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interestingly, when the vice president was delivering his, you know, his 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 speech, you know, at the commissioner, he made a very um, touching, you know, story uh, remark. The fact that you're able to mass up so much, so little, and the cost it was very cost efficient um, as compared to if they could go for a regular you know, pricing, the amounts could have doubled. How did you, how were you able to pull this off with such limited resources, with such efficiency? Well, you had the private sector who came in. You had the private sector who came in. The, some of the uh, financial institutions also came in. Everybody wanted to help. So that money was available and we looked at the most efficient ways of um, of building, and as I said, the normal procedure is to do the design, look at it, um, see what corrections that can be done uh, before you invite bids for a contractor to come in, etc. We didn't have the luxury of doing that. So we did what they call the rolling design. You build as you design. So um, as the requirements were coming in, we were adapting, correcting things, and made sure that um, this was done. We had the cooperation of the contractor, the cooperation of the project management team, the architects, the engineers, and the quantities of years to let us know where we are going in terms of costs, etc., And that's how we were able to come up with this. And incidentally, uh, we had heard that these things have been done in China. You know, there's a lot of talk about the Chinese having done this. But I'm afraid what they did were tents. Uh, this, is, this is something wonderful which has been done. And in fact, we've had uh, people from other African countries um, wanting to do the same thing. Um, they call us the pitch setters, <laughs> you know, uh, because we've had, um, over the weekend, for instance, I had um, a phone call from Zimbabwe, and they want a concept paper, they want to do it. We've had, uh, we've spoken to people from Rwanda and other countries, and uh, they're all very interested uh, in getting this done. We'll be able to share this with other people. I believe that this is going to be reciprocated and uh, it's going to be done in Kumasi and in Takradi and in Tamale. And um, I would say, go and look at it. And, you know, and uh, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic thing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to say that out of a test comes a testimony. Does it therefore suggest that the engineering community gets more innovative in times of crisis? Well, in times of crisis, you know, um, if a lion is chasing you, you would, you, I think you would beat, uh, what's his name, Bolt, in the 100 meters of a lion was chasing you. Yeah, so. We just had to get that done. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of innovation. But we seem to take the back. We have this background thing. Um, you know, you don't need to come out. The, a lot of these young people are doing some fantastic things, and which you uh, help Ghana leapfrog into the community of uh, big boys. Do you feel left behind as? you know, a, a community of engineers. Do you feel left behind when it comes to government or Ghana's developmental agenda? 
because time in and time again we keep seeing seeing the foreigners come over determining the, 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 the plan of specific structures and everything. We see the Chinese coming over, we see the Europeans. Do you feel left behind as the indigenous engineering society of Ghana? Well, sometimes we do. And we've had two meetings with His Excellency the Vice President. And, uh, and then he he's concerned about that. And um, he did promise that. For instance, I think that the hospitals are going to be built and they're going to make use of, of the local consultants and contractors. Uh, he's very concerned about that. I think government wants about 70% of the work to go to the locals. But having said that, um, you know, um, when you have monies coming from all right, so do catch the full interview uh, with the Ghana Institute of Engineering. You saw the engineer Alex Leslie Ayer, who is president on Business Live at 5 p.m. Charles Aite will be exploring the impact of COVID-19.